Okay, so let's test the fan noise and the performance of the 9575. So I'm going to open up Premiere. We're unplugged at the moment. There is a 0% fan, so it's completely quiet. Um, one thing is I've been struggling a bit with uh, the sleep. I want it to wake up instantly when I open it, especially when it's only been closed for a few hours and um, I've just been sort of making note of the battery. I, I left it for about a, a day on sleep and it went from 48% battery to 31% battery. So that was like 17% battery lost by you know, just leaving it sleeping for a while. I just thought that's a lot of battery loss. Um, I think it was about 24 hours of sleeping. I feel like it should be about 1% battery it should lose in that time. Anyway, so let's uh, open up this project and um, here's some test footage we'll bring in. So we'll just see what it takes to get the fans going. Uh, we're on medium. Let's get it on medium performance. Oh, you have to favour one over the other. I guess I'm... Let's, let's go to full performance and then come down from there. Okay. I actually haven't tried any of this footage yet. Um, but, and this is why I got this machine mainly. So let's make a new sequence from this clip. Let's play that. Wow, silky, silky smooth. Mmm. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Just play a little bit of this footage. Backwards. Yeah, that is silky. Oh my gosh, that is really delightful. Okay. <laughs> wow. Um, all right, let's get some. Uh, let's color correct this a bit. Do some lumetri scopes and stuff. Uh, so if we go window lumetri color, um, you can mess around with this a little bit. Saturation, mm, make it blue. Let's do some more complex stuff that's a bit more processor intensive. Let's maybe get this up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and then we could get another layer on top of that. And we could make this a bit smaller scale and rotate it. Okay, let's, all right, so that's. It's pretty smooth still. Up, up. Mm. Yeah, that's some pretty backwards. Yeah, that is looking nice. So yeah, no fan noise happening at all. Temperature is mm, barely warm at all. Really quite chilled. Um, I'm just gonna, just for the video editors out there, I'm just gonna go a little bit further on this, just slightly. I'm gonna just go, um, where's our effects? I'm just gonna chuck on another couple of effects. Feel free to skip forward in the video. Where's my effects panel? Sorry, I know this is painful for people who can be bothered to edit proper videos on YouTube. That's not really me. Uh, gauzy and blur, let's chuck a bit of that on. Um, okay, let's chuck that up a bit. Stick a title on there. Um, Oh man, it's nice. It's just so smooth. Yeah, I was a bit worried about whether OpenCL was going to be as effective as um, uh, what's NVIDIA's proprietary one, CUDA. But this is looking nice. Yeah. It 
Let's go backwards through that. I don't know why, but backwards is always like, oh, it's just so silky. All right, cool. Anyway, we've got no fans on at all. So that is a drastic improvement. Um, <laughs> the battery is just caning it there. Why are we on battery so well? Oh, because the battery's low, right, okay, got it. So, wow, that's what the performance is like with battery saver one. I don't know if that throttles the CPU. I know there's battery extender and that definitely throttles the CPU, but, um, okay, let's just do a bit more. Let's get, let's go to plugging this in. So, I feel like it's gonna, the fans are just gonna kick in straight away. I might be wrong. Let's just wait a couple of seconds. Hmm. Okay. Let's go full performance. Let's get some more footage in there. Ah, oh, there we go. Cool. All right. There's the fans. All right. We're about what's that? Sixty percent fans, I reckon. Seventy. Eighty. Just, just from my experience of what these fans sound like and how noisy they get, maybe 90, that could be 100% fans, I don't know. So I'm a filmmaker, so I, th I, I know that, oh, that's 100% fan, yeah, that's noisy. So yeah, I knew that I wanted to make this video without putting auto gain control on the microphone, because um, that would obviously be changing the volume, the sensitivity of the microphone you're hearing. Um, so this is, so yeah, what you hear, now in this video is what you would hear in this room. So yeah, that's... That's the fans at full volume. Feel free to skip to the beginning of this video and hear the difference. So, I don't know, yeah. Let's, so, let's see if we can get this fan noise down. Let's get this, let's put this into the middle. Let's just put it all the way down. Let's try and just quieten down those fans. Can you edit video in a library while it's plugged into the mains? Let's make that the design challenge. I'm just going to mess around for a little bit and see if those fans chill out within sort of 20, 30 seconds. Oh yeah, so here's the other thing worth looking at. Um, Dell Power Manager. So I've read through a bunch of forums and looked at ways to quieten the fans down. Or like, do they need to be this loud? Um, and what I've heard is that in here, ultra performance and quiet are actually mixed up. And I'm sure this will be fixed in an update. This is uh, version 3.0.0. Um, but yeah, so those are actually mixed up. Um, and and, and uh, when I tested it, it seemed that that person was, was right because yeah, if I clicked on, if I put it into quiet mode, the fans immediately quick kick in. And if I put it in ultra performance, the fans shut up. Um, so, I mean, we can try it anyway. If I hit quiet now, I feel like the fans were just quietening down then anyway, but they have just gone quieter, let's just see. Let's go back to what it was. Mmm, I think they have just picked up a little bit there. They're about 60% now, I feel like, rushing. Maybe this is just updated or something, because it does feel like this is right now. I feel like they're about 40% now. Maybe 30%. Okay, let's keep them at quiet. I feel like I could just about get away with editing this in a library. Maybe. Mm. 
Hmm. Let's change the speed of this a little bit. Performance is just so nice. I mean, just just for fun, let me show you what I'm editing on normally. Uh, this is my MSI uh, gaming laptop, and just look at the size of this bastard. Uh, the performance of this Lenovo is better than this thing, I'm sure. And I don't know if you can see quite how thick that is, but it doesn't really fit in any laptop bag. <laughs> and this thing is almost as skinny as my tiny Lenovo Yoga 900. Um, so, yeah, fans were about 40%. Um, can I just crack open a couple of other things, get Photoshop open? Something I'm struggling with at the moment is getting one-to-one -one ratio on the scaling of apps. Um, if anyone has any idea how to fix that, I would be eternally grateful. I want things to be scaled up in Windows generally, like all this stuff, like this is good. Um, so I think that I'm on 200% scaling at the moment. Yeah, so 200%, obviously 100 is pretty mad. <laughs> it's kind of cool, but on a size, on a screen this small, it's not very useful. But what I want is, I want the scaling to be 100% in Premiere, ridiculous as this is, I want it to be this size. Or, or close to, but only inside Premiere. Because there's just so much going on when you've got everything laid out. I only have half the panels laid out right now. Um, so yeah, if anyone knows how to do per app scaling, that would be so useful for me. Um, fans are pretty cool. They, they're sounding quite reasonable. I can live with that. They sort of seem to be fairly consistently at... Um, I'm just going to open loads of stuff. Just absolutely ravage it. Let's get open Edge, Chrome and all my pages. What else can we do? Other stuff, settings, Telegram, Word. It really, it looks like it's just staying cool as a cucumber at about 40%. This is about the volume, the top volume that I feel like I can use if I'm in a really quiet space. I mean, it's definitely audible, but it's, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. It's when it's at like 70, 80, 90% above it, you're like, come on, this is so whiningly, screechingly loud. All right, I hope that's useful. Um, other things to look at in this sort of space are, there's something called battery extender. Was that in, um, where was that? I think it's in Dell Commander. Yeah, battery extender. This is another thing to look at. Um, can only be used when it's on battery power. So that's worth looking at anyway. Um, but yeah, so that's plugged in. That's on battery saver. Ah, okay. So if we, let's go to best performance and see what's happening with the fan sound now. Hey. Um, let's do something intensive. Let's magnify this by like 4,000 percent. Yeah, let's get Premiere exporting something. Oh, did I just get a little hang there? Oh, hello. Little hang. I did have an issue with this hanging before. I, so yeah, something I should have said at the beginning is that updating all your drivers is going to make a big difference. Because this thing was absolutely nuts uh, before. 
um, and now it is a lot better. Uh, what's something quite intensive I can export this as? Ooh, maybe just AVI uncompressed. Mm, I don't know. I'll do stick it on the desktop. Um, yeah, cute. This is quite a short shot, isn't it? Why is that like six seconds or something? Ten seconds. Um, so this should launch media encoder now as well. Wow, that's still doing image size. Crumbs. Right, that must be using up a lot of RAM. Let's see what's going on. Um, performance. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's all the memory gone. I think maybe we'll cancel that. Wow, how much is Photoshop using there? That'll be why the little freezes were happening. Wow, 10 gigs going into Photoshop right now. I was wondering whether 16 gigs is enough for this thing. I know there's a 32 gig version coming out at some point. It's, it seems to be doing all right, I guess, because the SSD is so fast, it's managing to use a, a page file pretty quick. Um, and things are still pretty responsive. Um, another thing that's completely unrelated to anything, but while we're just waiting for this, um, customising all the gestures on the touchpad is really fun. Just You can completely customise what all the up, down, left, right, three finger, four finger, tap, all do. Um, by clicking advanced settings and gestures, and that's pretty neat. Okay, struggling to uh, cancel that one. Never mind. Just, uh, what's Media Encoder doing? Hello? Go on then, see if you can encode that while everything's kicking off and you've got no RAM. Man, Photoshop is a nightmare, isn't it, when it runs out of RAM? Get out. Come on. Die. Delete. There we go. Got some RAM back. Yes, there we go. Instantly back to 6 gigs. Yeah, so I hope 16 gigs is enough. I feel like probably if I'm editing loads of 4K stuff, I probably can't have Spotify and Chrome and everything else open at the same time. But, I don't know. Like This tiny Premiere project is only using... Wow, well, only half a gig at the moment, but yeah, hopefully it's right. So yeah, cool, fans seem to be consistently at, um, wow, well, yeah, consistently at about, what's this, about 40%, maybe 50%. I feel pretty satisfied. I've got to say, I was really worried for a while. Um, I was pretty worried that we weren't going to get to a place I was satisfied with the noise um, but I can live with this yeah seems pretty consistent 50% I mean we're encoding stuff right now that's done yeah that's that's a lot to think about and I mean what if we had the CPU out here that must be pretty maxed out well, 8% now, but... Hmm. Hopefully that has given some insight into the performance editing video um, with Premiere, at least, using OpenCL um, and also the fan noise in various different modes. So, super long video, but hopefully useful for people looking for something like I was.